Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java reader class with the help of examples and the sub class that we are going to check is the file reader with the help of examples now guys the reader class of the java io package is an abstract super class that represents a stream of characters so basically when we were using the file input stream or any other input stream classes we were dealing with the stream of bytes over there but when we are using the file readers or any other reader classes we are dealing with the stream of characters directly now since a reader is an abstract class it is not useful by itself however its sub classes can be used to read data and one of its sub classes is file reader now apart from file reader we have more sub classes as you can see sub classes of reader we have buffered reader input stream reader file reader and string reader as well so you can use any of the classes over here the main functionality of all these readers is to read the file content from the external file into the program so guys let us check this with the help of examples the methods of file readers is what we are going to see now let us move to eclipse id and over here i will provide the reader class so we have reader and then let's say i provide file reader over here so we have file reader as the object name followed by equal to new operator and since we cannot create object out of this reader class we have to use its subclass so one of the subclass is file reader and that is what we are going to check in this video so over here file reader is having multiple constructors as you can see and the third constructor it is taking the parameter as the file name and that is what we are going to use apart from that if you are comfortable with any other constructor you can use that appropriately so we are going to use this constructor and over here inside the double quotes i am going to provide the path of the file that i am going to read so basically i am having this test file the content of which as you can see we have two lines over here and this is what we are going to read into our program by using this external file so guys over here i am going to provide this directory path i just copy this directory path and paste this inside the double quotes inside the file reader constructor and over here we are going to have the double backslashes and over here we are going to give the name of the file that is test file dot txt so as you can see this is the test file that is the name of the file and we have given the name of the file over here and then we will end this statement by using the semicolon now guys we are getting a red underline that's because we have to handle the exception so over here i'll simply select the first option that is add throws declaration so it is going to throw the declaration that is file not found exception over here now guys we can use this file reader object now in order to read the content of the file so basically what we will do is we will first check whether it is ready or not so this ready method it checks if the reader is ready to be read so what i will do is i will simply provide print statement over here and i will say ready question mark and then we will invoke this ready method by using this file reader object over here so we have this file reader dot ready method so this ready method over here as you can see again we are getting the red underline it says unhandled exception type io exception so again i will select the first option that is add throws declaration so it has added the exception that is io exception over here now guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so that we can see the result of this ready method so as you can see ready yes so since it is ready it is providing true if the file reader was not ready to read the content it will return false over here now guys how do we read the content we have another method that is read which reads the content into the array of characters so guys in the input stream classes we had seen that the data was being read in the array of bytes over there but in case of the reader classes we will see that the content will be written in the array of characters directly instead of bytes so basically this reads the characters from the stream and stores in a specified array so over here what we have to do is first of all we have to declare an array of characters so we have character and then let me simply put array as the object name equal to new character and we have to provide the size that is 100 over here so 100 is the maximum size that we are providing and then we are going to read the content of the file in this array so what i will do is i will use this file reader i'll just copy this and paste this over here followed by dot and then we have something called as read so guys this first read method is used in order to read one character at a time but we want to read the entire content of the file so we are going to use the second method that is the read method which takes one parameter as the array of characters so i'm going to use that 
and this array object I am going to provide as the parameter in this read method and then we will end the line of code with the semicolon. Now we simply have to print this array content on the console. So what we will do is we will have the println statement over here system.out.println and I will say file content is followed by colon and then we will have the array as the file content and then guys very important thing we have to close this file reader so we have this file reader object over here followed by dot and then we have this close method what is the importance of close method this close method helps us to close the reader so basically this is the very important step whenever you are reading or writing into the file or any other streams this will help us to avoid the unexpected output that we can see during our program execution now let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see file content is we are getting some garbage value over here now guys we have simply provided array over here that may be the reason why we are getting the garbage value what we will do is we will convert that into the string so we have string dot value of so we will have the value of method being used and over here i will provide the parameter as the array of characters so we have provided this and let me just save this file now let us check how it is being printed over here as the string so as you can see file content is this is a test line in a test file and then this is another test line that's because all the content is on a single line that is why we are getting this content on the single line so guys in this way we can easily read the content of the file by using the file reader and use it in our program or we can also write it into the other external file as well guys apart from this there are many other methods of the file reader object so when we provide file reader object over here followed by dot as you can see there are multiple other methods that you can use based on your requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different methods you get the different outputs so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java writer class with the help of examples by using the file writer class so stay tuned